hello everyone and welcome back to the honey soul child bottega channel i am your girl melinda j and as well as your chakra priestess and i have a new deck yes and we're unboxing the queen of the moon oracle by stacy demarco and it's basically a guidance through lunar and seasonal energies and of course, in the back, it says humans have always connected to the mystical power of the moon and the energy of the seasons. This beautifully illustrated queen of the moon oracle allows you the modern seeker to plug into these most primal energies of all. OK, and it says also features of a full moon cycle of lunar images each gloriously rendered and able to be used as stunning uh, circular altar displays also experience the seasonal moons and the powers they provide also learn which moons are best timings for rituals spellcraft and making talismans for prosperity love and health and more yes i'm excited y'all let's go ahead and get into it i already broke the seal as far as like around the box but like i said i just want to open this with you all Okay, so we have the guidebook. Let's see what that is giving. We got the table of contents. Y'all know I'm all about the moon phases, girl. We got the preface. And yes, this deck will be used in my lunar cycle reading coming in the next month. All right. Introduction. Got an introduction. And some explanation of the of the cycles, the lunar cycles. Got the author's notes. How do you do, use the cards, sample spreads? Ooh, that's a lot. My gosh, okay. And of course, it just goes on and on and on, which each, I like how it, it's colored too. I like the color feature on there. And then, of course, it got a downloadable uh, GIF, per se, rock pour oracle reading cards all right period now let's go ahead and slide this over here we're gonna break the seal and it's clear this is what the back of the cards look like obviously all of the moon phases started with the new moon all the way to the full moon and the list goes on and then of course the deck so, let's go ahead and see. We have the void. All right. New moon. Beginnings. Realization. Acceptance. Uh, growth. This is beautiful. I'm loving these cards already. Self-love. Yes. Can never have too much self-love. Nourishment. Path. Assessing. There we go. Hold on, y'all. Discernment. Fear. Boundaries. Wheel. Focus. This one's beautiful. I like that. Action. Power. Reflection. Gives me Gem Gemini energy. Pleasure. It's more like Scorpio. Balance. That's definitely given Libra. Beauty. Resilience, dang, that's like nine of ones energy there. A mixture of nine of ones and ten of ones. Wisdom, here's the wisdom. Gratitude, love this. I love this. Protection, resistance, surrender, release. Peace, hunger, P 
purity faith i love this love 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 this trust blossoming extremes this is definitely giving mars okay change patience fruition I say that word a lot, fruition, abundance, creation, darkness, sovereignty, just like how it's depicted in the, on the box right here, because you got the power, masculine, and I bet you it's a feminine one in here, unexpected, and attraction is the last card so overall in total there's 44 cards in this day and as far as the thickness of the card it is on the lighter side of the spectrum as comparison to these cards these two cards about neck and neck in thickness just a little bit it seems like this one is a little bit thicker than this one, so to speak. So, uh, of course, careful. I'll say be careful, be mindful when shuffling the cards. If you're a hard shuffler like me, I'm, I shuffle the cards like, like my uncle, my great uncle. <laughs> May he continue to rest on. Okay. Which I got to share a story with you all about that. Um, Let's see what card comes out. I'm just going to shuffle like two times. Okay. Let's see what card comes out for the first time. For the first time. Okay. We got beginnings. Yes. Um, Come on, beginnings. We got beginnings with the new or with the new moon, and of course with new moons, as um, as you all viewed my videos on my channel, if you haven't already, new moons are all about new cycles, hence new moon. Um, of course, you see um, the imagery in the back that's like in a winter setting. And then you also have the new beginnings, new moon energy with all this greenery here. So it, that's giving the spring aspect as we wake up from hibernation in the winter. The springtime is where it's at when there's new beginnings, a new astrological cycle happens. And of course, the we have a, even though the new moons are not eliminated like this here but there is also a chance for uh, partnerships as well with the number two or just closing one chapter and start another one um, beginning just depending on what type of uh, what side of the spectrum that you're in so that's what this card is giving me intuitively as i'm dissecting the imagery in this card is basically saying to me now it could be for everybody else it could be different but to me is basically saying well we're about to go into winter right so as we wake up from hibernation because that's what the what that's what happens in the winter time that's what the animals do they go into hibernation and then in comes springtime where uh, the animals as well as ourselves as beings could welcome the newness of the spring flowers popping out the grass is getting greener the trees are getting their their leaves back so that is just a perfect opportunity to start new beginnings hence at the bottom of the deck we have assessing so of course in this imagery here in this first quarter moon First quarter moon talks about 
um, things coming up, like challenges or dilemmas that could happen to where you need to reassess what needs to stay and what needs to go so you can continue to launch for new beginnings, all right? So that's what I get. Oh, with the number nine, number nine brings completion. Also, go into hib hibernation mode, go into hermit mode as you reassess so you can be ready for this new beginning. So that's what I'm getting just based off dissecting the imagery and not reading from the guidebook yet. And yes, I like to read the guidebook. However, I like to dissect the card intuitively just to see um, what I can get out of it. And if I need some help, then I'll go to the guidebook. But yeah, that is all that I have for you guys. I thank you all for tuning in to this unboxing. And I am going to enjoy this deck already. Just be on the lookout for it when I do my lunar readings on the channel for the elements and more. And as always, love thyself, know thyself, soothe thyself so you can heal thyself. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.